we've been looking at the uh, Russian attack on our democracy and been questioning government officials, past and present, and uh, campaign people for the Trump campaign. But now, uh, this is uh, we, the extent to which the Russians exploited your platforms is bringing the question in, you know, maybe this isn't something, this isn't something just the government has to do. This isn't something that you guys have to, uh, have to deal with and, and fix. Um, and you were kind of the canary in the coal mine in 2016. And at the same time, uh, Russia was conducting cyber espionage against American political organizations. They deployed this propaganda program on your platforms in some case paying for it in rubles. So I want to understand why no one seems to have caught, caught on to the Russian effort earlier. Mr. Stretch, how did Facebook, which prides itself on being able to process billions of data points and instantly transform them into personal connections for its user, somehow not make the connection that electoral ads paid for in rubles were coming from Russia. Those are two data points. American political ads and Russian money, rubles. How could you not connect those two dots? Senator, you mentioned uh, one aspect of uh, the, the, the Russian threat that was so visible in 2016, which was the, the question of account compromise, stealing contents, and um, disseminating them. And, and that's a threat our security team was intensely focused on, and we think effectively addressed. I think in hindsight, we should have had a broader lens. There were signals we missed, and we are now okay, focused. People are buying ads on your platform with rubles. They're political ads. You put billions of data points together all the time. That's what I hear that these platforms do. They're the most sophisticated things invented by man ever. All, Google has all knowledge that man has ever developed. You can't put together rubles with a political ad and go like, hmm, those two data points spell out something bad. Senator, it's, it's a signal we should have been... Uh, alert to, and and in hindsight, uh, it's one we Okay, missed. okay, yeah. Uh, will Facebook commit not to accepting political ads paid for with foreign money in the future, say with rubles or the North Korean won? If, if a political ad with a won is paid for by a won, a North Korean won, will you pledge not to put it on? Senator... Our, our goal is to require all political advertisers, regardless of currency, to uh, provide documentation and inf information demonstrating that they're authorized to advertise. The, the currency signal, I understand your point, it's a signal we should have, so we should have missed. You can't say no to that. The currency signal... You can't say no to that. It's very easy to... Please answer yes or no, sir. I'm asking you a question. Just answer yes or no. Can you do that? You're sophisticated. You're the chief legal counsel for Facebook. Please answer yes or no. I can tell you that we're not going to permit advertising to uh, permit political advertising by foreign actors. The, the reason I'm hesitating on foreign currency is that it's relatively easy for bad actors to switch currency. So it's it's a signal, but it's not enough. We have to sweep more broadly. Why would anyone use the North Korean won? Why would a bad actor go like, I'm going to trick Facebook? I'm going to use the North Korean won. Senator, our, our goal is to make sure we're addressing all forms of abuse. My goal is for you to think through this stuff a little bit better. Can I have a little bit more time? Well, I, uh, Senator Rono, you're next. 